think that the the theme of the album is freedom because the album is very free and very open and it's about four guys coming together from four different eras of music i come from a old, old background of, of death metal trash metal i have my career in sepultura soulfly nail bomb cavalera conspiracy then you have somebody like Greg, is a little newer, with a newer band like Dillinger Escape Plan. And then you have somebody like Dave playing drums that play with Mars Volta. It's an amazing drummer, amazing band. And then you have Troy from Mastodon, another great band. The combination of all these uh, really cool musicians together, the attraction of these musicians forcing to confront each other and come up with something... Uh, powerful was really what interests me in the Killer BQ concept and I think we did that and I think that for me it's, it's a really freedom it was really f a free record to make and it felt like no rules like we could do whatever we want there was no pressure from the label from anybody we could do whatever we want and whatever is on the record is exactly what we wanted to make. Metal is gonna grow and grow and grow. It doesn't die, which is the beauty of it. it refuses to die, and uh, that's what I love about it. Um, it's like cockroaches, you know. It does not die. Metal does not die ever. Uh, my part of it, just a little bit, whatever I contributed with it, uh, with whatever band. Uh, I think it's been fun, and I love to the fact that it has influenced generations of uh, musicians and people through the years and I'm happy and excited that I'm still here making records and playing and touring and I'm also happy my family is actually now carrying the tradition my sons have bands you know Riches and Insight making a record right now um, Igor and Zion are in Lodi Kong. They're gonna have a record come out uh, sometime in the near future. And we're a fully, Cavalera is a fully metal family. Everybody in the family involved with metal. Gloria is my wife and our manager, the manager of all, the, all these bands and keeps everybody together and working. And it's great. And I think we're, we, we put a mark in the metal world with our family and it's something I'm very proud of it. That was Juan Montoya from Torch and Monstro. Monstro is the band of uh, Troy's uh, brother. And Juan is a, an amazing guitar player. He brought a suitcase full of pedals and used all of them. He made the guitar sound like airplanes and just really cool, man. Just like It wasn't really shredding because we didn't want a, a shredding solo for the project we wanted more like ambient sounds and atmospheric kind of sounds so i really like what juan did on a lot of songs especially uh, uh forbidden fire I, I love what he did on that song sounds very uh, like you too like that's tough i think black sabbath first um motorhead they're kind of like the fathers of heavy metal, I think. And then I like Bob Marley, a little bit different, a little reggae. Um, and then I like, uh, from the new generation, I really like Nails and uh, Acacia Strain. Well, me and Greg did a demo first that was 15 songs. We spent a month, uh, a, month a week in Phoenix when we first created Killer Be Kill. It used to be called Negative Fucks. It was Greg's first idea of the name. I love the name. I thought it was a great name, but I, I knew the label was not going to go for it. And so it was just fantasy name. 
but we wrote stuff like chloroform, Killuminati, uh, body bag, bag that. <laughs> that, that stuff never saw the light today. In, in fact, they, they sound like dog shit. It's horrible recordings, homemade, raw, done by me and Greg. Very professional, done by us, and they sound like total shit. But it was cool. It was a, it was a, it was a good beginning. We got really excited, and we made that. There is the demo, actually, a CD with 15 songs. That I don't know if it's ever going to be released, but I hope we will, so people can get uh, get to hear how this thing started, because it's completely different from what is on the CD right now. <laughs> 